Hello, I am Dave Volgus, an American orthopedic trauma surgeon. Hello, I'm Yves Harder from Switzerland, a board certified general surgeon and plastic surgeon. We are the co-editors of a new book from the AO called the Manual of Soft Tissue Management in Orthopedic Trauma. My interest in soft tissue reconstruction began about 15 years ago when I was working at a teaching hospital and we saw a lot of very high energy trauma. Well, I'm currently working as a senior consultant uh, also at the teaching hospital. We have some kind of common interest, uh, the management of soft tissue defects in uh, extremity trauma or orthopedic trauma. This book has been designed to help teach young surgeons as well as older surgeons soft tissue techniques which we have found useful uh, in our practices. We feel like this book uh, adds a lot in terms of the uh, training of orthopedic surgeons and will help us begin to get closer to our plastic surgery colleagues in terms of soft tissue management. The target audience for this book really is uh, all orthopedic surgeons who deal with wounds. That may include orthopedic trauma surgeons, it may include residents, fellows. Uh, our hope is that the junior residents will learn good soft tissue handling and by learning that technique, those techniques they will avoid many of the complications that are seen in other um, realms like total joint surgery and other elective surgeries. For the orthopedic trauma surgeon, we hope this book will give uh, techniques and principles on which he can base his practice, not only to deal with the open fractures, but also to deal with um, complicated fractures like pylons, which in the hands of those who taught us how to do them, and used very good soft tissue technique, had good results. The results of those surgeries when the soft tissue techniques are not followed have not been nearly as good with high complication rates, including open wounds, um, wound dehiscence, infection, and non-unions. Orthopedic surgeons typically are not trained to handle soft tissue very well. We're not really taught the anatomy of the skin. We're not taught how to respect those planes. We don't even know the term angiosomes, which are very key components of managing a soft tissue injury. Uh, because of that lack of education, that gap in our education, we felt like the early parts of this book really should uh, be focused on teaching these fundamental concepts, which plastic surgeons are taught as part of their training. The second part of the book really is focusing on techniques, which again, orthopedic surgeons aren't taught but are well within our scope of practice. So I think it's well within the scope of orthopedic surgeons to learn these techniques and apply them when he can, but also know when it's time to call for more experienced help. Our hope in bringing this book to you is that it will give techniques for better soft tissue management to avoid complications and also to give tools with which we can manage very complex soft tissue injuries. With the structure of this book, we have not only aimed at editing a new book that stands for itself, we also wanted to reach a broad readership that deals with extremity trauma, that is a trauma of soft tissue with or without fractured bone. We have therefore tried to give the readers the chance how to interpret and how to manage soft tissue injuries. With this in mind, Dave and myself try to exemplify this spirit in a daily clinical life. We have structured the book as follows. Unlike other books, the first chapters have been reserved for the management of soft tissue handling, basic and advanced, the anatomy of all soft tissues, their healing patterns, and the most common mechanisms of soft tissue injury. Much importance has been attached to the assessment of soft tissue injury and eventually decision making, be it as a lone warrior or as a member of an interdisciplinary trauma team. One of the key aspects of this book are the chapters that deal with the principles and the, the management of wound closure and defect coverage with local and regional flaps. The techniques that require more advanced skills are of course mentioned, but we believe that these should be left or be the domain of the specialists.
As a special feature of this book is the number of 20 individual case reports. These case reports show how to manage individual situations. They reflect daily clinical life and they are shown in a progressive way. We have been able to convince a number of experts from around the world to contribute their knowledge to this textbook. It is our sincere hope that this book will provide skills and techniques which are currently not taught in orthopedics. That can be done by most orthopedic surgeons. However, we do acknowledge that there's still quite a role for plastic surgery and other specialists to deal with more complicated wounds. We certainly hope that you enjoy this book as much as we have enjoyed bringing it to you.